At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Welcome to Detroit, Michigan. This here is the Big Boy Arena in Fraser, Michigan, just outside of Detroit. It's also the home of the Motor City Rockers in the FPHL. Now this is the fifth level pro hockey in North America, and this here is our locker room. It's my home, it's where I spend most of my time these days. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I only make about 125 US a week playing for the Rockers, and I've seen a lot of people asking, how much time do you spend at the rink for this level? Well, we practice every single day from 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., and I usually show up around 9 a.m., give or take, and I bounce around 1, 1 1.30, all depending on the day. Now, I wanna be very clear that I personally don't believe that time is a great measuring stick to results, because theoretically, I could live 24 seven at the rink, set up an air mattress up in the management office. Yes, they probably would not like that, but I could do that, but it wouldn't make me any better of a player. So I like to think that I show up at a time that allows me to be successful, and I leave when I believe the job is done. Now, if there was one place that I could squat absolutely rent-free, it's probably right here in our therapy room, or as I like to call it, the dungeon. Now, this is Joe, our physiotherapist, and he's helped me out with a couple of my knee issues. But one thing that he's really good at, he's a very calming voice, and he talks to my knee and says nice things to it. I know it sounds crazy, but it actually does work. Anyway, today's Monday, and as we started the new work week, and more importantly, the new pay period here in Motor City, it's also an optional practice, which basically means it is a goalie session. Now, if you're new here, my name is Travis Ridgen. I am 26, born and raised in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Yes, I know, I'm very sorry about that. And I am starting right bench here in Motor City. Now, obviously I'm kidding, but I am the backup goalie to this man right here. His name is Trevor Babin, we call him Babs. And if you've been watching for the last couple of episodes, you're probably tired of hearing me say this, but he seriously is the best goaltender in the league in a discussion. And I got the privilege of trying to watch and pick up his habits every day at practice. Now today, him and I agreed that we were gonna work on a lot of reverse play. Personally, I'm six foot five, that's 195 centimeters if you're in Europe, so I'm pretty damn tall. And I'm trying to play to my advantages, which is use my size to play simple, play deeper, relying on reads and getting hit. A lot of people are not gonna like hearing this, but I'm essentially blocking and I'm playing the percentages because coaches don't care how you get hit with pucks. They just want to win games. And my goal is to help convince our coach and any coach in the future that I can help win games. Check into cash. Boys are just cashing their first check today. Uh, we'll probably get out of there rich. We're getting paid. No. It was on October 16, two weeks ago. To be honest, <laughs> I parked like a pimp because I thought we were going to cash the checks. So I decided to take up two parking spots. Now I feel like a loser. Hey, look at that. That was all for nothing. Okay, this is our next spot right here. Cash advance. Uh, we were just wondering if you guys could cash in che checks. No, we don't cash checks there. No. Cash advance does not cash checks in advance. Oh, we, we can't cash them? We won't cash them. She had to come to the door to remind us she's on break. Ribs and checks. Excuse to interrupt your uh, your, your lunchtime. Uh, do you have napkins? Hand her the checks like this and toss them in my face. <laughs> so we rolled in hot. Did the check and go? The check stayed. It did not go. <laughs> Damn it. No money. After practice, I met up with my buddy Rob Alon. Rob's been in town for about a week now, and he carved out a nice pro career playing for the Toronto Marlies, Reading Royals, among other teams. And we recently recorded a new episode of my podcast, Sling the Biscuit, talking about the minors of pro hockey, the grind, 
And what, to be honest with you, 99.9% of people just don't understand. This really pisses me off. The people that are using me as a measuring stick to justify how much the Fed sucks. Like, oh, if Trav plays or anybody could play, you have no idea how good the players are. Some guy on a podcast, we're not going to say who, but he's talking about, oh, I could snap it around. I, you would snap your ankles. That's the only thing you would do. You wouldn't do anything. He would not give you 125 a week, and you would not get any per diem on the road, which I pocketed last week because I didn't spend it. What was the per diem? What'd they give you for the. 10 bucks a day. 10 bucks a day? Like three years ago in Columbus, I got lit up like a Christmas tree because I believe this narrative that the Fed was just a men's league getting a couple bucks a week. Some of the guys, some of the moves that they're pulling off in games, the patience, the skill level is like every single day of practice, I am challenged to become better. And I love that because I just, I love the chase. I love doing this. And it's, this is true. The greatest thing on planet earth to do. I was talking with management the other day in the office about that. Uh, later that night, I got recommended this video on TikTok that brought me back to my time in Columbus three years ago, the Columbus River Dragons. Every single day for lunch, they would send us to Pizza Hut for team lunch. <laughs> And on top of this, uh, somebody sent me this picture the other day. There's a guy in Columbus who actually bought my jersey. So I apologize. You probably spent way too much money on that jersey. So check this out. So I got uh, authorization from one of our vets to pull a water bottle prank. Watch this. Now the water bottle prank. It is the oldest trick in the book. But essentially, you take the lid off the bottle just enough so that it would appear that the lid is still on, but loose enough so that when somebody goes to take a drink, the water pressure blows the lid off, gives them a nice shower. Now, about 20 minutes into practice, I, it was pretty quiet. I had no bites, but I knew it was only a matter of time before I got my first victim of the day. <laughs> I knew it. Who, got, who did I get? Damn it, I knew I should have left it there. And after that, it was back to business. Another work day, trying to get better here at practice. Now I want to talk about this guy for a sec here, Babs. I alluded to him earlier. When I signed with Motor City over the summer, the deal was that I was not going to be the starter. Now I'm a firm believer that stats do not tell you the full story. I really do. But he makes 40 saves every single night. He keeps us in games. And he was also one of the first picks in the expansion draft for Motor City when the team formed. So safe to say that I accepted my role very early on. Now don't get me wrong, I am absolutely hoping that every single goalie in the SP either tear a groin or blow their knee out this month so that he can get called up. But I like to think we have a fairly positive relationship. And my job is to support him with anything he needs. And like I said earlier, I am blessed and privileged enough to watch him day in and day out of practice because it is a daily reminder of how good I need to become if I want to dominate and just succeed at this level, period. That's going in the vlog. He don't normally do that shit. Now, if for some reason you get caught with your pants down here like I did, getting dangled, you're going to immediately want to hit that subscribe button for more vlogs just like this because I post them every Sunday at 10 a.m. Eastern, sometimes on Wednesdays, but guaranteed every Sunday. And I also do a weekly podcast where I talk about my hockey experiences and stories from junior, college, all the way to pro here in the Fed. And every now and then I go on a couple of music tangents because I host it with Winnipeg radio legend Dave Wheeler, and that also releases every single Sunday. There's a link in the video description if you want to check that one out. I want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.